Today, for our math strategies video, we're going to be talking about dividing whole numbers. Um, we're going to be using a couple different strategies to um, divide whole numbers. We're going to be using the area model for division as well as partial products. What's so great about these strategies is that you can use numbers that make sense to you, facts that you are comfortable with. You don't always have to find the largest amount of groups that will go into this number. Um, you can use numbers that make sense to you. So in looking at this problem up here, Andrew has a collection of 1,478 comic books. He packs the comic books into boxes that each hold 35 comic books. How many boxes does he fill? So I'm going to be dividing 1,478 by 35, and I'm going to use the area model, okay? What's so great about this area model is that I really can use numbers that make sense to me. So I'm going to be thinking about 35 and how many groups of 35 might be able to go into 1,478. Well, I don't know my 35 facts, um, and I don't know the exact number that will go in here, but I do know that 35 times 10 would give me 350, and I know that 35 times 20 would give me 700. And so that might be a good starting place for me because it's something that I am comfortable with. So I'm going to change my color here. And in parentheses up top, I'm just going to write the multiplication sentence that I'm using just to keep myself organized. So I'm going to say 35 times 20 gives me 700. Okay, so I know that my first partial quotient that I'm working with is 20. Okay. And I know that 20 times 35 is going to give me 700, and I'm going to subtract that from my 1,478 to get 778. Okay, so I'm going to take this 778, and I'm going to again find how many groups of 35 will go in there. And again, I can use whatever I'm comfortable with. I don't know my 35 facts, but I am comfortable with... 35 times 20. And so I think I'm just going to use that again. So let's see. 35 times 20 gives me that 700. And of course I have 778. I'm going to subtract it by 770, giving me 78. But before I'm going to move on, I'm going to write down my partial quotients I used for this one, which was, again, 20 something I'm comfortable with. So I have 78 left. And I've got to figure out how many groups of 35 will go into 78. Well, I know that 35 times 2 gives me 70, so that might actually be a good um, starting point. So I'm going to say again 35 times 2 gives me 70. Apply 70 here and subtract. Um, and I get 8. Again, I'm not finished because I need to write up my partial quotient on top, which would be that 2, okay? Now, I have 8 left, and I know that I can't make another group of 35, so I know that my 8 is now becoming my remainder, okay? Remainder 8. Now, again, I'm still not finished because I need to add up my partial quotients up here. So I have 20 plus 20 plus 2 gives me 42, and then I have, of course, remainder 8. Now let's look back into our problem, and again the question asks, how many boxes does he fill? Well, he fills 42 boxes, and this 8 means that he just has 8 comics left over, okay? So this is one, one way to do the area model for division using numbers that make sense to you, okay? Let's try it with the partial products, okay? And so, again, I'm doing the same process, but it might look a little bit different. So I'm going to think about 35, and I'm going to think about how many groups of 35 will fit into 1,478. And, again, I don't know my 35 facts, but I'm really comfortable with that um, 20, okay, that I used before. And, of course, 20 times 35 is 700, and I know that because I worked on that with the previous problem. And again, I'm going to write just to the side how I got that. So I just keep myself organized. All right. And I'm going to subtract, getting that 778 again. Okay. 
And so now I need to figure out how many groups of 35 will fit into there. Again, because of my previous problem, I'm comfortable with 35 times 2, I mean 35 times 20, which gives me that 700. Okay. And then I have 78 left over, and I know I can fit a few more groups of 35 in there, 35 times two, which gives me another two. I'm just gonna put it up top. So 35 times two gives me that 70, and again, I have that eight left over. So I have remainder eight, um, and I'm gonna have to go back to my partial quotients, add them together to get 42. And again, if I'm answering my problem, how many boxes does he fill? He fills 42, okay? And in this case, I don't necessarily need that remainder to answer the problem. So as you practice these strategies, remember to use facts or numbers that you're comfortable with or that make sense to you.